Hi, my name is Eric Confer, Product Manager of Magnetic Separation here at Erie's Magnetics. And today, my associate Frank is going to show us in a step-by-step -step tutorial how to upgrade your manual clean DSCs to automated units. You're going to want to give yourself approximately two to three hours of time to perform this task. Part one, removal of the carriages. Remove the inspection panel on the rear of the housing. With the 530 seconds Allen wrench, remove all of the 3 8 bolts from the rear tubes to remove the rear tie bar. In this next step, you're going to want to be really safe once that tie bar is removed. Return to the front of the housing and you can carefully remove the magnetic carriages one at a time. Again, another safety aspect here, set those magnetic carriages aside on a non-magnetic surface for this conversion. You're going to want to keep about one foot of space between these magnets. Now we're going to do the magnetic tube swap. Start with the bottom carriage from the manual unit. It's got fewer tubes. Using the tube guard provided, place the guard on the second tube from the left end of the carriage and carefully remove the bolt from the first tube while holding it apart with the other hand. Place that tube on a non-magnetic surface separated by wood blocks, maybe UHMW, bricks, whatever keeps it out of the way. Move on to the next tube and repeat the process again do yourself a favor and keep these things separate. Now we're going to repeat this process for the top carriage as well. Keep doing the same thing. Now's a good time to also inspect your magnetic tube as well as the tube scrapers since you have them sitting out on the table in front of you. To add tubes back to the automatic carriage face, start with the bottom row and bolt the first outermost tube in place. Cover the secured first tube with the guard block again, and then bolt in the second tube. Move the tube guard to the second tube and repeat the process until all the bottom tubes are in place. Before bolting in the top row, place wood boards on the top of the first tubes, covering all magnetic sections of the tubes. This will help ensure your work safer around the magnets. Repeat the process for the top row using the tube guard provided. Set the new carriages aside on non-magnetic surfaces until they're ready for installation. Remove the 3 8 bolts from the side of the housing to remove the manual style slides, clamp assemblies, and guide guards. It's best to start with the bolts that are in the rear as they hold on to the slide guards coming off the rear of the unit. Repeat this for both sides. Put the new white sliders inside the new side brackets and cylinder mounts, then bolt to the side of the housing with the 3 8 bolts again. Remember to bolt the slide guards with the rear bolts of the side plates. Repeat this for both sides. Mount the air cylinders to the brackets with four of the 5 16 bolts. Repeat this process for both sides. Take the air distribution block and bracket to mount to the rear of the housing underneath the inspection door with elbow valves facing down using the included 1024 screws. Run the supplied 3 8 air lines from the front of each cylinder to the ports on the block closest to the housing on each side. Rear air lines are run to rear ports on each side. On the front of the housing, bolt two safety housing brackets to face plates of cylinders with four 5 16 bolts per bracket. Install the automatic carriage by putting the side guide arms through slides and tubes through the tube scraper assemblies and push it all the way into the housing. This is where a second person can come in to assist so they can align the tubes through the tube scrapers while the other person helps supporting the assembly. From the rear of the housing, reattach the tie bars with the 3 8 Allen screws and some Loctite blue. Attach the carriages to the air cylinders with large bolts using spacers provided and a crescent wrench. Tighten down until the cylinder arm spins. Install the assembled safety housing using four of the 3 8 bolts. Bolt the rear inspection door back on. Cycle the unit a few times to make sure it operates properly. If everything checks out, your work is now complete. And now that you know just how easy it is to convert your manual DSC to an automated unit, give us a call when you're ready to make that upgrade. Until then, 
Leave some comments or questions in the section below. We'd love to hear from you or what you want to know about. We've got some other great videos on the right-hand side here. Take a look at those and then visit us at www.eries.com. Thanks for watching today.